okay, why don't we do a pepperoni salad? So that's what we're doing. It's a really fun recipe. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I'm a big fan of making homemade salad dressings. And once you get into the swing of it, it's just easy breezy. Um, it's just, you know, a few ingredients. I collect different oils and different vinegars. And then, you know, you can, you know, do different seasonings. But it's just, I'm telling you, anybody can do this. And they taste so much better than the bottled dressings. And, you know, if you read the back of the bottled dressings, there's so many weird ingredients that you have no idea what it is. This is all stuff that you know and um, it, it, it costs pennies to make, and the bottom line, it, it just tastes better. So starting out to make a homemade light Italian vinaigrette, and we're using a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar. Normally, one of the rules I follow is three to one, three parts acid to one part oil. So in this case, we're going to do a quarter of a cup of, of vinegar to one cup of oil. So uh, a, again, a quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar. Some of the oils and vinegars I collect in my pantry, I normally have them at all times. Red wine vinegar, which is great for Italian salad dressings. Apple cider vinegar, I use that in salad dressings and coleslaws. Um, a, a white wine vinegar or a rice wine vinegar. Those are a little milder than the distilled vinegar that you know you, you're clean with. So, um, and they're not expensive. You'll find them right in the same aisle of the grocery store. So, and then you can kind of get crazy and start collecting some of the different, you know, balsamic and the flavored balsamic vinegars. And just, you know, you go to some of those fancy olive oil and, uh, you know, vinegar stores and you pick up a bottle here and there. Um, so I have quite a collection now and then you can get really creative. So uh, back to the Italian vinaigrette. This is so simple. A quarter of a cup of red wine vinegar. Then we've just got some dried Italian seasoning or oregano, just stuff that you have in your pantry. A little bit of sugar, just to, this is not going to be a sweet dressing, don't worry about that. Just about a teaspoon of sugar. Uh, it's just going to make it not quite as acidic, uh, cut down on that acid a little bit. Some salt and pepper. And what I normally do is I get the acids going first. We're going to do some fresh garlic and the seasonings first, and then I add my oil. While I'm doing this, a couple of reminders. Are you reading the book club book? It's going to be fantastic. Mark your calendars. We're headed to La Java on December 5th. Picked a great book. You can go to our website and figure out what we're reading and read along with this. It's called uh, Light Between the Oceans. I just picked it up, and it's supposed to be fantastic. So first, I'm going to shake together the vinegar and the spices and the garlic just to get that going, kind of bring the dried Italian seasonings to life. And then we're going to add three quarters of a cup of olive oil. Some of the different oils I collect, olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, just the, you know, the regular oils. Sesame seed oil is nice to have on hand for, you know, Asian dressings. And then again, you can get creative and get some of the fun flavored Tuscan oils and some of the other different oils that you could pick up at the more specialty food store. So I'm just going to give this a shake and you can see how it starts to, the big word, the chef word, my chef friends, which we actually have a couple of them here today to help judge this pizza contest. Uh, they use the word emulsify. I use the word, it just kind of thickens up when you shake it and you see it's kind of coating the jar and that's going to coat your greens too. And why I love to shake these up in a ball canning jar is we're probably not going to use all this dressing in this salad. So any leftovers can just store in the fridge for a good week right in the same jar. At any given time when you go to my refrigerator home, you're going to find three or four different jars of homemade salad dressings in there. and you know, then I've got them for the rest of the week. So I love to use, this is a nice big salad. We're going to use romaine lettuce. What I love about romaine is it's got the crunch of iceberg, but it's so much better for you. So the kids won't even know you've made the switch, but do it. Make that switch. Iceberg lettuce is great for like tacos or a wedge salad, but otherwise we really should be using some different types of lettuces, spring mix, or if you want the crunch romaine. Spinach. We do a lot of spinach salads in my house. All right, so we're just chopping up the romaine, and it doesn't have to be, you know, finely chopped. I love just getting the hearts of romaine. They come in a three pack, and then you really have the best of the best. So get the romaine in here, and now we're just going to put lots of fun, different ingredients in the salad. We're going to do a little bit of bell pepper. You could do red. You could use green doesn't really matter. We're just going to dice it up. This is going to have a lot going on. It's just going to be a really fun salad. 
to make for your pizza party. What else do we have going on? Well, we talked about the pizza contest, which we're doing today, but we're also starting a brand new contest, our ultimate Thanksgiving contest. We do it every year. You know about it. It's so much fun. Basically, we're asking for your very best Thanksgiving recipes. So get busy. Now's the time to start thinking about it and entering those recipes. Some seriously good prizes. We're looking for your best Thanksgiving side dish recipes, main course. So maybe you do one heck of a great turkey, or maybe you do something different for Thanksgiving. Maybe you do Cornish game hens or ham or, you know, lasagna. Email us your best main course recipes. Stuffing recipe, we're always looking for new, fun, different stuffing recipes besides the traditional. And then, of course, we need a wow -um dessert recipe. So get busy, email us or send us your recipe. Make sure and put what category, uh, you know, your recipe should be under. And there's the address to mail the entries. You can also drop them off uh, at the, the studio here. Lots of great gift cards to the Wire Whisk for the winners that will come on the show and cook with me. And for all the information on the contest, go to fox11online.com, click on the Living tab, and we'll be right there for you. Okay, time to start throwing this salad together. We've got the, um, the green pepper. We've got the romaine lettuce. Now we're going to add some diced red onion, some diced tomato. We, we just got some uh, grape or cherry tomatoes that we've halved. Cut them in half. Sliced black olives, because I love them. If you don't like them, you can leave them out, but they're one of my favorites. A little bit of, um, I think this is fun, especially in Italian uh, salads. Uh, this is just sliced pepperoncini peppers, or you could do, you know, banana peppers. Uh, it's a pepperoni salad, so we gotta have some pepperoni. This is just the pepperoni you'd put on pizza, and we've just diced it up into little pieces, so that, you know, when you're eating your salad, you don't get a big uh, chunk of it. And this is cubed. Fresh mozzarella cheese, mozzarella cheese from Springside Dairy that they make there. And it is fantastic in the Ocanto Falls area. We love their cheese. They're a big cheese sponsor of the show. They do so many different types of cheeses, uh, different fun flavors of cheese, beer cheese, all sorts of real spicy cheeses. Love their um, leek and morel mushroom cheese, but their mozzarella cheese is fantastic too. Okay, so now we're going to lightly dress the salad. I used to just be go a little crazy when I was putting the dressing on my salads. I've really learned to back off so that you can actually taste the salad and you can always serve extra dressing on the side. And this is the way I do it. Just toss it together. Anne, how are you? Are you excited for the show? Thrilled. We have a bunch of guests. Anne has been working like crazy today to get everything all coordinated so it should be a, a ton of fun. Oh, yeah, Abby's just telling me, my producer, Big night out, still a few spots left. Time is running out though. We're headed to the club in Manitowoc next Tuesday night. It is gonna be one magical evening. Five courses, all paired with wines. $50 per person includes tip, and uh, the club is just a great venue. It's right on Lake Michigan in Manitowoc, and uh, we had a, a big night out there last spring, and it was fantastic. So we're really looking forward to this one. It's a nice fall menu, lots of great food, so call today. And even, you know, if you don't have anyone to come with, come yourself. It's a great way to meet people. It's just a lot of fun. All right, so we're just putting this salad. Now, at home, if I was doing it for the family, to be honest with you, I just take this big old salad right to the table. It's casual, you know, one less dish to wash, but we'll make it look pretty for the show. And you can see all the, the stuff that's going on in the salad. I mean, look at that. That's not a boring salad. Mm -mm. And then you could sprinkle, if you wanted, a little bit of extra Parmesan cheese on the top. So there you go. It's my pepperoni pizza salad. What a great way to start the pizza party. Recipes on the website. You can also pick it up at any area festival foods.